Welcome back friends. In this video we will be discussing about a particular type of receptors called receptor tyrosine kinases. We will see the kinase activity of the receptor, how the receptor receives ligands, what type of transformation occur upon ligand binding, how kinase activity is being driven in this receptor and finally we will see how it's getting activated to initiate the signaling pathway. This all will be discussed in this lecture. These receptors are a kind of plasma membrane receptors and have an enzymatic activity. The intracellular catalytic domains have the kinase activity. And we know the enzyme that catalyzes the transfer of phosphate groups is the property of any kinase enzyme. The intracellular domain acts as a tyrosine kinase which catalyzes the transfer of phosphate from ATP molecule to amino acid tyrosine on a substrate protein. The opposite of kinase is an enzyme that removes phosphate groups from targets known as phosphatase. Now let's see in detail the ligand binding and the activation of RTKs. These RTKs are embedded in plasma membrane. The intracellular part is lodged with tyrosine amino acids as shown in the figure. Before the signaling molecule binds the receptor exists as individual units referred as monomers as you can see in this picture. They are both individual monomers separated from each other. On the extracellular part it has got ligand binding site like this and to these sites the signaling molecule binds and initiates the activation pathway. On the next step, we see the binding of signaling molecules such as growth factor causes two receptor monomers to associate closely with each other, forming a complex known as dimer in a process called dimerization. But the dimerization does not fully activate the receptor molecules. It needs phosphorylation, which is achieved by the kinase activity of the receptors as it transfers phosphates from ATP towards the tyrosine amino acids present on receptors as we see in the reaction. Now we have a phosphorylated dimer which is the activated form of receptor tyrosine kinase. Now that the receptor is fully activated it's recognized by specific relay proteins inside the cell. Each such protein binds to a specific phosphorylated tyrosine undergoing a resulting structural change that activates the bound protein. We see inside the cell there are inactive relay proteins which are getting recruited by this activated RTK. Once they get recruited by activated RTK, the RTK changes their shape and activates these relay proteins. After that, each activated protein then triggers a transduction pathway leading to a cellular response. So this is how RTKs are getting activated by ligands via kinase activity. These RTKs are a large family of receptors which include the following major receptors. First one is epidermal growth factor receptor family. This is associated with signaling in nervous system as its insufficiency in signaling has been related with neurodegenerative diseases. The another being the fibroblast growth factor receptor family, FGFR. It receives the fibroblast growth factors, which are a family of growth factors with members involved in angiogenesis, bone healing, and embryonic development. So, this is all about the receptor tyrosine kinases. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.